At this time, we would like to honor our team of tradition. The 2005-06 men's basketball team won a then school record 20 games, finishing 20 and nine overall, and advanced to the second round of the NCAA tournament in Villa Julie's first appearance. The Mustangs began the season by winning the Pride of Maryland tournament, defeating Johns Hopkins 81 to 78 in overtime in the final after outlasting Washington College 100 to 93 in the semifinals. Villa Julie fell to Keystone in the Northeast Athletic Conference final, but earned an at-large bid to the NCAA field, beating Baruch 86 to 71 in the first round on Baruch's home floor before falling to William Patterson in the second round. Anthony Fitzgerald was the NEAC Player of the Year. The special part about this team is this team, and we were in a conference that was not a strong conference at the time, this team got the NCAA bid as an at-large bid. This team was selected by peers of mine in the coaching community on the regional advisory committee and on the national committee and selected at large. So we were one of the top 60 programs in the country selected and even when we went into the tournament, um, which was in Manhattanville, or excuse me, Manhattan, um, we weren't picked to be a high seed. We were actually, at that time, there are 16 uh, programs or 16 locations around the country that host first round and they were called pods. So the number one team was Baruch and we were the number four team in that pod. We were not predicted to win against the number one seed. This team was that special. Uh, Dr. Manning met with the team before the game and, and we talked about excellence and success and we had all Americans on this team which we'll have talked about Anthony Fitzgerald and as a member of that team and of course Wade Henniger on the year the team before. But the power of this team was the depth. The power of this team was um, the unselfishness. Um, many people don't remember that the leading scorer on that team was Phil Williams in, in, the, in the playoff run. I believe he had 21 or 23 points in that game. Everyone remembers the 25 rebounds that Anthony had. Um, but this team was special. So we upend the number one team going into the second night. And this team of distinction showed that against all odds, without housing, without a lot of amenities that other programs have, with the limited budget, and with talent that believed in each other more so than superstar talent, um, that was a model and a team of distinction and actually a team of the ages that I hope all of our Stevens University teams recognize how they became successful and how they could pay it forward. It is my honor to welcome the head coach of the 2005-06 men's basketball team, Brett Adams. I know you're getting a double dose of me, so I apologize for that. Um, what the video doesn't show also is what a talented and intelligent academic class that was. Uh, going down that list of academic achievements, Phil Williams went on to pharmacy school, became a doctor of pharmacy. Chris Warren stayed at Stevenson and got his master's. Steven Segears stayed at Stevenson and got his master's. Anthony Fitzgerald stayed at Stevenson and got his master's. Kerry Dugan uh, worked very hard and to get challenged, I mean, I had to go to Mark Hergen getting Kerry in and he showed because of the culture of Wade and Anthony and Kenny and this really intelligent group of students, a culture uh, that permeated, we, we really believed that we were smarter than everyone else. Um, <laughs> Drew ward -Hamil, Vinny Rigatuso. There were so many others that were on that team that just had that culture of intelligence. And when I say smart people don't fail, 
I mean, they just solve it as another problem. And that team was a really smart team. But the theme of that team, yes, we had All-Americans, All-Conference, Player of the Year, you know, with Steven Seguiers and Anthony, and we had a lot of recognition. But the power of that team was family. The power of that team was they were best friends. And when I say they were best friends, they weren't just best friends with each other. They were best friends with Siobhan Palmer and Amanda Wilson. They were best friends with the women's basketball team. Back then, we traveled together on a, on a charter bus throughout the NEAC League, and it was basketball was great at Villa Julie. That, uh, in my professional 27 years opinion, was the impetus of the success. We had talent, but all, the question always comes first. What comes first? The talent and then the team chemistry. That team had chemistry before the talent was developed, and that team developed into a great team because of the chemistry. It's a great team, it's a team of distinction, and before I close, I do have a video um, some of the guys weren't able to be here tonight. Uh, Carrie Dugan uh, would have been here tonight, but instead I got a video from him. There are two other guys, Corey Garner and Jason Lambert, who couldn't be here tonight because they're with Carrie. Uh, his video will epitomize um, what that team was about. I did catch up with Jarrell, and I did catch up with J.R. Reynolds, who's in San Diego, which some of you didn't know, but he left here after his first year, and then he's, he got into coaching and he's coaching out in California. So, uh, Brooks, could you run this video for me? Good evening, Stevenson University, and everyone at the Dick Watts Athletic Hall of Fame. Coach Adams, Coach Barber, and my great teammates from the 2005-2006 basketball team. I am so sorry I'm unable to attend this great event this evening. There are only a few things in this world which would make me miss seeing everyone tonight and being there with my teammates to be inducted as this year's team of tradition. One of which is my wedding, which is where I am at this exact moment. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have an ice cold beverage here to celebrate. I have so many memories from that year, winning the Pride of Maryland tournament and getting an at-large bid and being the first team in Villa Julie history to go to the NCAA tournament. There was something special about that team, and we had great leadership, not only from our coaches, but our captains as well. Fitz, Steve, Chris, and Phil. You guys did a great job leading by example on and off the court. I will always cherish our friendships and memories from that season. If memory serves me correctly, I believe that is the year Coach Adams stopped practice, locked the basketballs, and made us walk in the bathroom and told us we were practicing like we belonged in one of the stalls. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> to my big brothers, Fitz and Wade, congrats and well-deserved. I am not going to try and summarize what you two mean to me and how good you were. I will just say you were great basketball players and even better people. I hope everyone has a great evening. Congrats to the others being inducted tonight. President Manning, congratulations on your retirement. You have done a great job building that school and athletic department. Thanks, have a great night. I couldn't have said it any better than that. It's about family. Actually, he's ma marrying Caitlin Minosh, who is also a Villa Julie Stevenson grad and a field hockey player who he met while he was here. Um, without any further ado, if I could ask the team of distinction to come up for a quick photo shoot. <laughs> Nappy Darty, Teddy Saperstein. Coach Darty, I do need you and I do need Coach Saperstein. Let's take it up here if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, thanks.
Thank <laughs> you.